my very first scholarship interview, I told them that there was two things I'd like to do in my career, and that's work in sports or work for a good cause. While I was there, I got really passionate about online communications. Started the third blog ever by kind of a young professional in PR. In Australia at that point, people thought a blog was something you did in a toilet. And so despite the fact that I had this kind of day-to-day -day job, which was very traditional sports-based media relations, it was the spare time where I was connecting with a very small audience at this point of about 100 PR professionals who were starting to blog and communicate. And it became really exciting to me. And I thought, this is what I want to do with my career. But I found a tweet that changed my life. Do you have a birthday in September? Forget gifts, help fund wells in Ethiopia. This is where I first connected with Charity Water. The lack of access to water and basic sanitation kills more people each year than all forms of violence, including war. I started to learn about how simple the solutions were. Sometimes you can just work with a village to dig 40 feet underground to hit clean water that's right under people's feet, and that village will have clean water. So we know if we're going to build enough of a movement to solve this massive problem for 800 million people, we need to inspire them, and to inspire them, we need a brand that they're going to love like a Nike or an Apple. Five years ago, crowdfunding didn't really exist. As far as having a web platform where an individual or an organization could set something up and accept donations and then funnel them towards something. So Charity Water was really an early leader on it. Now it's become much more common. The hard part is getting inspired people and then helping them see their impact. Uh, the tool just facilitates And so that. it's really the content that matters. And on the upfront, yeah, yeah. I, th I think so. For our fifth birthday, we personally made 250 thank you videos for donors. It wasn't about fundraising, it was about showing our donors we love them, we're committed to them, and enhancing that brand power. Uh, if we could achieve our goals and be boring, I don't think our founder would be very interested in doing it. We'd probably lose a lot of our staff uh -huh. if we did just, just the proof and just the impact reporting, because that's a pretty good business model. But we, creativity runs deep at Charity Wash. So we have a very strong creative group. You know, I'm someone who likes to, I like to come to work and be inspired every day, but now I, I want to come work for Charity Wash. So. <laughs>